while the Nameless are also preparing for the next stop of their voyage. But before leaving, we still have one last thing to do. It is my honor. I've said many goodbyes. Yet, I am glad that this is the first time I speak these words with a smile. But before leaving, I'm sure you all have plenty to say to the Nameless of the past. A fitting end to the tale of the departed. One could not ask for a better farewell. Go on. They're all here. Honestly, when I heard the Conductor's request, I was pretty surprised. The Nameless. Those who trailblaze, doing good deeds but never seeking recognition. After all this time, how would we even find those three people in such a vast place like Penacony? But it seems, in the land of the dreams, anything is indeed possible. History may not remember the names of the dead. But the stars will attest to their journeys. The first glimmer of light in the prolonged night often illuminates little, as it is fleeting in the darkness too vast. But because of this, people will remember. As long as something shines in the night sky, then when the first star falls, countless more will follow, streaking across the horizon. Brooklyn Tiernan, Rosalina J. and Estella, we raise a toast to you, trailblazers of the Silver Rail. A toast to history that no longer remains silent. The passionate and courageous pursuit and a voyage that traverses the stars. That statue, it wasn't here last time. Looks like this is the last riddle that Mr. Gallagher left for us. In the end, we still failed to figure out his true identity, or if he was even a living person. Uh, what should I say? I mean, this guy is definitely a history fictionologist, all right. I'm suddenly reminded of the time at the theme park when he said he was only 13 years old. Could that have meant something too? Either way, he's an enigmatic character for sure. At least our journey together in Penacony was real enough. And his loyalty and love for this land must have been real too, right? Gallagher, we raise a toast to you, the slumbering hound. To the festival's invitation, to all lies and the singular truth. If we ever meet again, please don't talk in riddles. Is the Astro Express ready to depart Penacony? Apologies, Mr. Mika, that we are only now bidding you farewell. Oh, that's all right. You've all done so much for the Watchmaker, and we are forever indebted. Allow me, as the representative of Dreamflux Reef, to make another toast to all the nameless. What will the people of Dreamflux Reef do now? Many will continue to live here. Those accustomed to being awake will mostly have a hard time getting used to a life of darkness with their eyes closed. Though the order has faded, there must be someone to watch over this primal memory zone. <sighs> Penacone's nights are long, and there are many who are still far from a good night's sleep. As for the sweet dream over there... <laughs> We're still managing without it, aren't we? Mika and residents of Dreamflux Reef, we raise a toast to you, watchers of the long dream. To your tenacity throughout time, to each sorrowful night, and to the dawn that is finally upon us. <laughs> In the end, we still came full circle. 
This trailblazing expedition started from the moment you and a bellboy ran into each other. After going on a journey of many twists and turns, they still ended up where they started. Just like a clock's hands that turn round and round, the start and end of each day will always land on 12 o'clock, the advent of time moving forward. There shouldn't be much left to say. This entire adventure started because of you and should naturally end with you. And then, a new page will be turned. Mikhail Char Legwork, we raise a toast to you. Watchmaker of the Land of the Dreams, nameless of the Astral Express. To Penacone's past, present, future, and the child's unwavering dream unto death. Our duty as nameless should be complete, right? The trailblaze can illuminate the way. But ultimately, the future of a world belongs to those who live in it. Uh, I still feel that Mr. McHale must have really wanted to witness this day himself. What's on your mind, March? Just a strange feeling. I had it a few stops ago, but it's super strong this time. Why not talk about it? Maybe everyone's thinking the same thing. I can't help but think that whether it's Mr. McHale, Mr. Tiernan, or Madame Rosalina, their lives must have been long, and they must have experienced plenty of stories. They were also young once, stumbling and bumbling around just like us, getting into scraps and mischief, that sort of stuff. Companions, enemies, journeys, adventures, all the sad and happy memories. The every day that we're used to, they've lived through them too. But those things are all in the past. Yeah, maybe that's the precise thing I can't let go of. It'll be easier to understand if I use an analogy. Like, when you're reading a book, if one of its characters keeps running into obstacles and experiences an ending full of regrets, we're bound to feel a bit mixed about it, right? Because we've seen every nook and cranny of their lives, we see these people as special. So, even if there are parts of it that aren't really realistic, nor logical, we still hope that their story gets a good ending when it comes. But, what if they... and we... aren't really that special? When Mr. McHale sat in this chair, waiting for the Astral Express to arrive every day, what was he thinking? And if, at the end of his life, he could still firmly say he had no regrets... Then, what is this regret we feel in our hearts right now? Hmm... I think each and every one of us is searching for the answer to this very question. The universe is vast, and our lives are but specks. The trailblaze never ends. But against the backdrop of the cosmos, the average person's lifelong journey is merely a short stretch. But it is in this minuscule distance that paths cross and countless worlds connect. The universe may not remember every person who leaves a tie along the solar rail, but we will. As long as we remember, their stories will never end.
And what Mr. McHale has left for us is his answer to this very question. It may not be perfect, but it left a smile on this storied, jaded old Nameless's face at the end of his life. And its meaning will be interpreted by those who come after... us. It's not the answer that's important, but what we can learn from others' answers, right? This is what trailblazing is. Uh, sure. Uh, I'm really sorry for bringing down the vibe. Quick, Don Hung, tell us a dad joke to lighten the mood. <laughs> it's never a bad thing to reflect. One day, we'll all have to face our own farewells. <laughs> but before that, we still have a long way ahead of us together. So the most important thing right now is to tell the conductor what we saw in Penacony. Then prepare ourselves for our next trailblazing destination. We both still have our own paths to walk. So let's forge ahead. Hopefully, if we meet again, it'll be beneath clear skies. <laughs> <laughs>